Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Race Face TV and this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. Let's start out west with young Jesse Love, who was at Petaluma Speedway in his number 38 Home Smiles wingless sprint car, where he qualified third, finished sixth in the dash, and then started sixth in the A main, but Jesse had to avoid a car that spun in front of him and had to restart 15th, but was still able to bring home a top 10 finish in ninth place. Jesse commented after the race that the track was dry slick, resulting in a one lane racing groove and extremely difficult to pass. Up next for Jesse, 5150 Energy Drink Junior Late Models at Madera Speedway on June 30th, where he holds the lead in the points championship heading into round four. Let's now head out east where we find Sam Mayer competing in the Cars Tour at Carteret County Speedway in his number nine Junior Motorsports Menard Chevrolet. After a solid ninth place run and qualifying, Sam started the race and at the drop of the green flag, Sam quickly moved up into sixth place before a caution came out. Restarting on the outside for the first time there, he got into the corner a little hot and lost three positions. Following another caution, Sam tried to replicate his race start and stuck the nose of his number nine Menard Chevrolet to the inside of a driver he was battling for seventh, but the hole closed quickly and Sam was swept up in a crash that ended his night after just 26 laps. He finished 14th. Now last night at the Bojangle Summer Shootout at Charlotte Motor Speedway, Sam celebrated his birthday in fashion by bringing home the win in the Legend Car Pro Division. Happy birthday, Sam. Let's talk a little ARCA racing. Anthony Alfredo was at Gateway Motorsports Park in Madison, Illinois, just across the river from St. Louis, Missouri, on Friday night for his ARCA Racing Series debut in the Papa Nicholas Coffee 150. The MDM Motorsports team rolled in on Thursday morning for some open testing. This was the first time that Anthony has had the opportunity to get behind the wheel of an ARCA car, and this tough one and one quarter mile oval is the largest track that Anthony has been on. Qualifying was rained out and the field was set by practice times on Friday evening. Anthony started 13th in his number 40 Seco Buildings Toyota and ran in the top 10 most of the race, bringing home a solid seventh place finish. I talked with Anthony just after the race and he was happy with his finish, but thought if there could have been a caution inside the last 20 laps that he felt like he could have had a top five finish. Commenting that he had finally figured out how to run this tricky track and was excited to be returning in August with the K&N car. Sheldon Creed was also at Gateway Motorsports Park and came into this race leading the ARCA Racing Series point standings. Sheldon captured his first pole award because he was the fastest in practice and that's how they started the field due to qualifying being rained out. Sheldon ran in the top three all night in his number 28 United Reynolds Toyota and lived up to his nickname, the Showstopper. Besides winning the pole, he led the most laps, including the last 42, bringing home his second win of the year and extending his points lead to 155 over teammate Zane Smith. When Sheldon was asked how he thought the night went, here was his response. This one wasn't really circled on the calendar as a place we thought we'd really be strong at, but the MDM guys are so good, we led practice, set on the pole, led the most laps, and won. It doesn't get much better than that. Up next for Sheldon, this Thursday night at Chicagoland Speedway for the Scott 150. This race will be televised live on Fox Sports 1 at 8 o'clock Central Time. Now let's take a look at our race face next drivers. Joe Valento was at Port City Raceway in Tulsa, Oklahoma this weekend to compete with some of the top micro sprint car drivers in the country. He finished sixth in his heat and 10th in the B main, but did not qualify for the A main. Joe commented after the race, we learned a lot this weekend for when we come back. Up next for Joe, micro sprints. Princeton Speedway on June 29th. 
Bryce Bazanson was at South Sound Speedway in his legend car where he qualified with his best time of the year at 16.235. Bryce also won the trophy dash, but Bryce suffered a flat tire in the A main that ended his day. Bryce is first in the Young Lions division, fourth overall in the pro division, and leads the rookie of the year standings. Up next for Bryce, mini sprints at Deming Speedway on June 29th. Well, that's it for this week's Race Face Driver update. This week, we'll see all of the Race Face Drivers in action. So make sure to tune in next week as we will have a lot to report on. And as always, we encourage you to go out and support local racing in your community and we'll see you back here next week. The Race Face family would like to extend our condolences to the entire Johnson family on the passing of World of Outlaw driver Jason Johnson. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family, friends, and crew in this time of mourning.